What's happening everyone and welcome to CFC Fan TV. It has been ages. Happy New Year, Merry Christmas and I'm sorry I haven't seen you for so long. I'm delighted to be back and I'm even more delighted to welcome the one and only James Lawrence Alcott Hello. onto the channel. James, thank you so much for coming on. My pleasure, mate. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Make sure you check out James's channel. His link is in the description below. Ooh, it is bizarre. fantastic. James, we need to talk about Christian Pulisic. Chelsea have made a signing and for me, it's really good news. It's, it's really, really good news. It's an exciting young player in a position that we need uh, some backup in. And ultimately, you know, we have players like William, Pedro, they're coming to the end of their career and we need to replace them. Mm. I have a slight fear. It's, it's really good news with the caveat that I'm worried that he is being seen as a bit of a replacement for Eden Hazard. I think that, oh, I don't think you can make any conclusions on this transfer right now, but what's always good for us when we're doing videos and we just had a good natter up about it on the One for the Weekend podcast. Oh yeah, check that is out that, by the way. The when is it, Friday? So that'll be, yeah, that'll be out, this is going out tonight, so this will be out tomorrow. Uh, but we had a chat about all things Chelsea as well. We actually were chatting about loads of stuff. Um, but we, yeah, we had a quick chat about it there. But it, I think what's really interesting is it's all on, it's all on Pulisic because if he comes in and he is the player that you're hoping that he's going to be, then it's, uh, it's a successful absolute move. bargain as well if he's a player that we hope he can become yeah I th for a few reasons one he seems like a really intelligent modern footballer yep. if that makes sense you know he's he's not he's sort of he's, you're like 5 foot 10 quick player which is pretty tall feet. pretty tall mate very tall <laughs> tallest yes, man in this room as well. <laughs> yeah right um He's got. I really love the way that he drives with the ball. Um, I think there's very few players who can do that in central areas. I think in that, in those sort of um, mid spaces, he's, he's comfortable doing that, and that's a big thing in terms of hurting oppositions. Um, he's been playing at Dortmund, which is obviously a, a team that plays maybe slightly different to, to the way Chelsea do, but um, but I th a lot of assists. A lot of assists. So 24 assists, uh, 15 goals, which I think Chelsea fans probably be slightly disappointed in. But he's, look, he's a young player who had quite a strange sort of start to his career. He was sort of picked up from, I think it was just sort of a random tournament in America yeah. and then went over to start in a new country, which I know is looking more common these days, but wasn't for, you know, it wasn't when Pulisic went over there and, and, and did it. And so I think that's a good sign as well. I think he's probably a guy who's got a good head on his shoulders. Um, often those American guys have got... You know, yeah. they're winners, aren't they? They're, they're switched on and they can deal with, with the pressure. And one thing that we chatted about, which maybe we can talk about now, I guess, was I, I thought it was really interesting. I, I, was, I look at it and I, I worry that the pressure that he's going to be under from America mm. and then from the Premier League as well, which is it's just so, so intense. And, and even at Chelsea, it's so cut for it as well. It's going to be, make it feel like, like a Maratta move. But I think w w where you're, you're right and what you're saying is that he, it's not all about scoring goals. It's going to be about his overall yeah. play, and I think he's got a lot to offer in that. In and also, the pressure, the pressure on his shoulders from his home country, which is you know virtually the size of a continent, mm. he can already live with that because he is currently the superstar from America. That's true. Like, I don't know if there's been this hype around an American player in America that I in my lifetime. I, I don't remember Alexi Lalas getting this <laughs> level of uh, enthusiasm. I think it's, uh, it's Freddie Adu, isn't it? It's, that's the one that you hope it doesn't turn out to be yes. that he's selling, you know, was it Hoover's in a nightclub or whatever yeah. it was. Whatever he ended up doing, <laughs> that was the latest deal that he's had. Yeah. I think he's not that guy. Look, he's, he's moved to, to Europe and he's already proved that he's, he's a good player. What's interesting is where does this transfer fit amongst all the other pieces and the evolution of Chelsea? You've you spent a lot of money in the last few signings, really, haven't you? With uh, Kepa, yeah, a lot of money, and and from a young guy who's same kind of thing that you were saying in the podcast, which was a, about you've got a player who's good now, but really you're hoping well, he's just going to go. This is it. This this, this is what I'm hoping with with Pulisic. It's very rare that you're given an opportunity to buy two things at once, which is potential and a proven player. Mm. Like usually, you buy potential and then you hope they're going to be proven, or they're a proven player and the potential is irrelevant. Yeah. With Pulisic, in a similar way to Raheem Sterling when he went from Liverpool to Manchester City, you're buying both. Pulisic can still become an incredible player, and he could make his £60 million price tag look a bargain. Mm. But equally, he's, been, you know, he's got over 100 games under his belt for Borussia Dortmund. Yeah, I, I, do you know what I think is interesting <coughs> as well is that you've got, you know, you've got a few young players in there. You've got Christensen still quite young. He's been able to go and get a lot of games of football. But then you've got other players like 
Ross Barkley probably hasn't played as much as he would have wanted to. Ruben Loftus Cheek, who people have always been excited about. We're chatting about Tammy Abraham on the podcast. Um, I think the perception of players is quite interesting as well. Like, how, why is it just that Pulisic has had more opportunities because he's been playing in a set up in, in a country where they push forward those players and they get those opportunities to play? You don't know if you don't know if Ruben Loftus Cheek is as good as Pulisic or any of these players are as good as yeah. Pulisic. I think sometimes it's. Down Mate, we to we haven't as a club we haven't given players enough chances. I mean, the one that always like wrangles with me is at one point Chelsea had an opportunity to buy Deli Ali. And we looked at him and we decided that we weren't going to buy Deli Ali because we had Lewis Baker, who was a better player. That could still be true. Lewis Baker just hasn't been given a chance to, yeah. you know. Um, and it's, and, it's, and like, Germany, it's the growth of the plant, isn't it? Exactly. If you don't, and the games are the water. Yes. If you don't give them enough games, then they won't, they I mean, won't reach absolutely. their potential. I mean, if Harry Kane was a Chelsea player, he may not be playing for England now. God knows you know, be. Probably wouldn't God be. Yeah. So, so, look, of course we have to give people the opportunity and, and the fact that he's going back to Dortmund, although I feel like we need Pulisic now, the fact that he's going back on this deal mm. is probably good. You know, he's not going to be a Chelsea player just yet. He'll be expected to start the start of next season, right? Yes, and it has to go like this. It has to go Eden Hazard, Mario Cardi, Christian Pulisic. What it can't go is... Pedro has a false nine. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess the, 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 the big you know, worry that you've got is that Hazard's not the one. Hazard's yeah, Hazard's not part you've of it at Pedro, all. You've got Pedro, Morata, and Pulisic. Yeah, that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's bad. But I think. See, I, that's the problem. That's that's the worry, and and I don't you're know. You're at the fact, end of a cycle, though, aren't you? Can you, you do us a favour? Do you think that Christian Pulisic has been brought in to be an addition to this setup and to improve our team, or has he been brought in? as a replacement for Eden Hazard, which changes everything, doesn't it? Do you, what do you, do you think Hazard will leave? Oh, we've had this conversation so many times. Man. But it changes, like, like the way I feel about it, sometimes, I mean, we haven't spoken about it for a few months, and I think the way I felt about it at one point was that Hazard will definitely be a Chelsea player for the long yeah, haul. Yeah, you, you said it much. And now. the way I feel about it now is he must just be sick of, he must just be sick of what's going on at Chelsea. You know, he's marked out of the game all the time. Players, because we're so reliant on him, players, double up on him, teams double up on him all the time, he can't express himself, there's nobody to share the burden, and it must just be a chore. Do you know what, uh, going on from our last conversation, because I do remember it, I, I think we, it was when Chelsea were in a much better moment at the start of the season, and you were going, this season is the opportunity for you to make it clear that, look, we've got a new manager who's going to play in a style that's totally uh, yeah. fits you and is about you and about you scoring goals, and by the end of the season, after having a great season, maybe not winning... The, the league, but having a strong mm. season, you'll go, oh, I see what's happening here. Guess, a bit like last year, but like that was the turn of it last year, wasn't it? It was yeah. around Christmas time. Yeah, it was now. It was yeah. now. So I guess the next few months will we'll play a massive part because Real Madrid are, have been circling. In need, all, and in need as well to. now. And, but uh, yeah, it's, it's always going to rumble on. I think it's always going to rumble on. But his next, that 2020 contract, that's the last one, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I think it, in, his, in six in months, career. in six months, he's either signed up to Chelsea for five years or he's gone. Yeah, he needs to make a call. But that's the same with Willian and the same with Pedro. Like everyone's contract is twenty twenty, which is why we so desperately need Pulisic. Which is why I think it's a good signing as long as it's for the right reasons. Yeah, I, I would suggest that those two others aren't are, are totally dispensable for, for a team like Chelsea. Though I think one of them is. I, th I think I think Willian is dispensable. I don't think that. I think that Pedro has more to give. He's such a good player, mate, he, and he's a winner as well. Have, you seen, his, have you seen his uh, like trophy, his medal oh, count? God, yeah, I mean, it, take, it should take you three minutes to read it. Yeah, but if I played in the team with Messi, then it'd probably be the same. But would he get in any other? Would he get in any other top four? Pedro, P top four front three. Um, or he would. No, well, not Liverpool. Definitely not Liverpool. Does he get it? No, Mares is better than him, isn't he? I think he's in the I don't. I don't think. Um, no, I, I, I take your point, but I think Pedro has something to offer. Yeah, no, I get that. I think Pedro I get has that, something to offer, whereas I think, I think William could, is... But Pulisic could, you know, like we're saying, if he, if he gets the games and if he is as, uh, as good as you're hoping, then he can maybe go beyond a, a Pedro, you never know. Yeah, so with a bit of luck, this could be exactly what we need. Right, there you have it, James. Thank you so much for coming on. I really do appreciate no it. No worries, mate. Um,
make sure you check out James's channel. It's James Lawrence Alcott. The link is in the description below. And also, do me a favour. Let me know how do you feel about Christian Pulisic signing for Chelsea.